Grauer and Maus. Always the latest trends. That's the slogan for Pia Grauer and Otto Maus's fashion store that they've been running successfully for five years. From the beginning, they have paid their local IHK chamber an annual membership contribution. But what for? IHK is the German abbreviation for Industrie und Handelskammer, the Chamber of Industry and Commerce. Across Germany, there are 80 IHK chambers. Altogether, they represent the entire German economy through its umbrella organization, the Dear IHK in Berlin. But also on a regional basis, the IHK chambers fulfill many tasks. These can be divided into three areas. The first is to represent the interests of the business community. This means that the IHK doesn't just represent individual sectors, but concerns itself with the needs of all commercial businesses within its district. For instance, if an outlet centre were to open on the outskirts of town, various interests would come to a head. For the companies that make their living from tourism, the outlet centre would provide an additional attraction for visitors and clothes manufacturers would be happy to have a sizable outlet to sell their goods. So these industries would definitely want that outlet centre to open. Retailers, however, would worry that smaller shops will incur a loss of earnings, as customers might prefer the lower prices charged by the competition and that subsequently less customers come into town to shop. This is where the IHK Chamber of Commerce and Industry comes into play. Its General Assembly, a democratically elected parliament, includes representatives from all sectors. They discuss the pros and cons of particular issues and ultimately decide on a common stance. In this case, the Chamber can then, for example, recommend that the outlet centre only sell last season's goods or that the sales floor area doesn't exceed a certain size. The second pillar of activity of the IHK Chamber falls under public service duties. For instance, the IHK District Chambers organise the final tests for vocational trainees, which are conducted on a voluntary basis by practice-oriented examiners from the IHK member companies. Throughout Germany, that accounts for around 175,000 people. This way, the chambers take over some tasks from the German state, and at the same time, they ensure that their member companies have an influence over public interest areas that affect them. The third pillar of activity is providing support services. IHK services span from A for Abfallberatung, which is refuse management in German, to Z for Zollformulare, which in German are customs forms. Pia and Otto could, for instance, get advice on how to save energy in their store, the cost of which is fairly high at present. Pia and Otto's questions have now been answered. They have a better understanding of the many areas the IHK chamber is active in. They understand that in order for their chamber to protect their interests, IHK members have to pay a membership contribution. <laughs>